got this old pine desk out of a barn where it had been for the past 10 years or so. Now it's got some damage to it. It's got a bit of, you know, mostly finished damage, watermarks, mold, scuffs. The overall dull appearance, it's really lost its sheen. Now rather than strip and refinish this, uh, I'm gonna try to fix it with just bry wax. Now I've wiped it off with a damp rag, get the dirt off of it. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to apply the bry wax with fine steel wool. And then uh, once I've got it done, we'll come back and we'll talk about buffing it out. Okay, this is a lot of water damage here. I'm just using it. I don't need too much because there's already a finish on here. We're just fixing what's already here. Now, let's rub this in. It's really the solvent doing the work to take out the watermarks. And last time when I was finishing raw wood, I, used, I applied with a rag. This time I'm using 4 out steel wool. It's a little bit more, uh, just marginally abrasive. And that just helps you smooth and flatten out that finish that may be a little bit coarse. It might have a little bit of grit or dust on there. And so that's why I'm using the 4 aught steel wall. I usually use that when I'm trying to redo a finish. This top is 3 foot by 6 foot, so I won't do it all in one go. What I'll do is take about a foot and a half by 2 foot or so. Start with circular motions. I'm going to rub that wax really well into the grain. Finish off going in the direction of the grain. Rubbing off any excess. Don't want to overdo it. This piece already has a finish on it, so it's not going to take so much wax. Circular motions and then finish going along the grain. Go down to the next section. Once you finish waxing, you just have to buff it out. Now, as I showed in the previous video, you can buff it with a clean cloth. Just, all you're doing is knocking off some of the excess wax and burnishing the wax that's already there. But when you buff with a clean cloth, you'll notice your rag gets a bit waxy. And once it gets loaded up with wax, it doesn't, it's not as effective at buffing. So what you have to do is keep turning it to a clean spot. And eventually, on a, on a big desk like this, you'll have to get yourself a clean rag. Now this works just fine. And if it's a one-off job, just buff it with a clean cloth. It should be fine. Uh, the faster way to do it is to use a Pampico buffing brush. And this is a relatively inexpensive buffing brush. It just fits in a drill. Now, Tampico bristles are unique in that wax doesn't stick to them. You can see some of the stain has discolored this brush, but you just... Don't push too hard. Yeah, I'm just letting the sort of weight of the drill apply the pressure. The 
you've got a lot of buffing to go, this is the way to go. So that took an hour and 45 minutes. Didn't take the handles off or anything, but you can see much, much better. You know, it already had a finish on it. We just had to repair that finish. What we did, we waxed it. Well, I used Tudor wax on this to take it a shade darker than it was. Now, if this was unfinished and you put Tudor on it, it'd be quite a bit darker than it is, but it already had a finish, so it doesn't take nearly as much wax. You know, uh, you see that's very nice, nice pine finish. It's got a nice soft sheen and a silky feel to it. And just to give you an idea of the amount of wax we used, this is the one pound can. Well, it's got a dent in the side, you might recognize it. It was the same can from my previous video and we still have half a can left. So uh, this is a one pound can. So it gives you an idea of uh, usage. Mm -hmm. 